really it'll be a box going down through here a little more difficult but definitely going to be a, a stronger weld and i think with all that tire weight out here it's really going to be taking a good bit of brunt <laughs> so i think that whole assembly is going to be taking a good bit of brunt for aluminum now my only other possibility and this may be a possibility but see the problem here is i still have the same issue okay um i could drill problem is i'm not going to get anything that's going to want to make well yeah see i'm not underneath the bumper i'd have to cut my board um and then i lose all of my package space it's just not a good fit over here i'm gonna really cover my spare tire and still lose them yeah i'm just i'm gonna put it right where the bike was i think that's plenty strong um We'll just have to check those welds. So we'll have to keep checking our aluminum welds at the beginning, especially uh, this weld down here. Especially this bottom weld. We'll double check it regularly. Um, but that is all really one piece solid tubing. Only thing I could do is go back across this bottom with another flat bar uh, with another square or a U, U channel either or to strengthen the, the overall beam so that's kind of where I'm at right this second let's go ahead and we'll get metal for this today I kind of got the idea in my head all I need to do is remeasure my tubing and see what they've got as far as matching steel because that'll be steel that whole assembly is it will be steel now let's grab a measuring tape just saw one i just saw a measuring tape somewhere um, where's it at and i'm gonna put this inside the camper just for giggles nothing's been getting in the back though so we're doing pretty good there and we've got tons of storage back here too i think i'm going to put all of the lithium battery stuff back there for now get it out of our way okay i'm gonna put this back up here for a couple of days came from. I swear it fell out of here. It's got to be. They had to give me five just in case. So we'll set this here, this here, and we just put all our welding stuff up. See, now we're going to be getting it all back out. Now they did give us this flat steel. Oh, actually that's for the front side of the tire. They gave us these little bars. It makes more sense. Okay, so this is for the bike mount which we're actually not even going to reuse. And I guess, honestly, I could reuse these mounts and just weld a piece of steel across the bottom. Um, hold on. So what I'm thinking now... Oh! There's that extra clamp for the float boat. What I'm thinking now is 
I just come right across here. Now, problem is that my bolts are going to be, well, not really, too short. No, they shouldn't be. Now, I should be able to weld a square tubing right on here. Same thickness as that was, 2 inch. 2 inch square tubing right there. And come in. I think I still, now, because it's got so much weight, I definitely think I'll still take a piece of steel that will at least lip over here. Okay, and I think we have a piece. Let's go check. Let's see how close it is. Um, so I've got this stuff here, which is not going to help us in any way, shape, or form. I don't know why I'm showing you that. Aha! Here it is. This is what we're looking for, guys. Right here. Right here. Because I think we can cut a piece of this if, and we may have to cut a piece just to even see. But we're going to, because the problem is it's got all these compound angles on it right now with all the extra ends that aren't cut off. That it's actually not going to lay on there. But if I can just kind of see. Okay, so if I line it up here. It dropped over. It's not going to weld flat, but I could bring it on here as far as it goes and then weld it. And I think, yes, because then we can flip it and weld it twice. So I think that's our best bet. We're just going to cut a piece of this out and it'll set right over top of that. And then we'll bolt through, so we'll need two bolts to go through the main frame. I don't even think we need to do that now. Actually, once I weld on the two inch bolt here and here and this, eh, I think I'll still probably, just for good measure, to pull it in and uh, have something. I'll probably drill that and put a couple of half inches through it, but we'll see. So, now all we need piece of two inch and the problem is I mean this is perfect but it's not going to be long enough because you can see how long that is and that's where our issue is going to be okay I think that's a reducer better be should come off yeah Well, this is the weirdest thing ever. Oh, it's got a lock pin in it. Okay. I mean, it's specifically made for this thing. I mean, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Like, it's got a lock pin, two pieces. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I just need a piece of two inch. Um... Let's see, it's got to be long. And I don't really want a solid. Oh, that's not solid. Okay. I don't think that's going to be long enough. It may be. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so it's going to come back. Um. That's perfect. Okay. So we got all of our pieces. Um, there's no reason we can't get started on this right now and have it done before our appointment. Nice. Okay, let's move our bike mount out of the way. think but we'll see see how bad that is we're gonna have this piece I'm gonna leave it over here for now because we're gonna do a lot of cutting welding and fucking fuck a fuck a fucking 
Okay, um... Okay, I think this is going to be kind of a super easy mod for us. Now one thing I'm going to do first just to make my life a little easier is probably wire brush this steel first and get it prepped and ready. Because it's got some weight right now. I would use my grinder. I, uh, I'd use my vise. It's just heavy to get up off the ground. <laughs> Very heavy. So this sometimes is a lot easier. Physically. Uh, until we get that vise mounted on the back of the 42. Okay, so let's make sure we're kind of... 